Hello players, my name is Eddie and you know that and you're welcome to my club, Dublin Table Tennis Club. What you want to do today before you watch this tutorial is stretch your wrist, especially your dominant hand because I'm going to teach you a technique which you can use to receive short serves and short chops on your backhand side called the backhand flex. So you got to make sure it's flexible and it's steady and it's ready. Okay, let's do this. Wait, why am I walking away? We're playing table tennis. What, what am I doing? Jesus Christ. I can't even do a goddamn intro. Okay, let's do this tutorial. Players, do me a quick favor. Hit that subscribe button. You make my day super happy. It costs you absolutely nothing. And you, get, you don't get to miss out on our next video. If you do have a video suggestion, leave a comment below. And yeah, let's get to the video. So the backhand flick is the technique that we use to counter short serves, short chops, in our backhand area. Like the title of the technique is suggested. And like a backhand itself, we have to follow through with the racket going up. Except with the flick, we have to be closer to the table. We read the channel, we wait for the ball to go at its highest peak, and we approach it with a nice flat contact. After that, you flick it through with a follow through, to roll the ball over the net. And that is how you do a backhand flick in a beginner intermediate stage. And that's what we'll be talking about today. The backhand flick for the beginner and intermediate stage, because this is a lot harder than the forehand flick. So I need to break it down to you in all the segments that are important to placement, timing, and position. Now, we're in a ready position. Knees bent, we're getting ready for a shot. The ball's coming, we read the channel, like with everything else. And the channel this time is gonna be in this area here. So when we read the channel, we use our left leg to push in, push forward to put our dominant leg, like every, every other shot, forwards onto the table. And like with the forehand flick, you put your foot in the direction where the channel is. So you don't see me put my foot in this direction. No, because we're doing the backhand flick. So it's going to be right here. So that's the way you approach it. You read the channel and put your right foot under the table. Now, if you do read the channel, the ball's coming on sideways, just in this case right here, you may put your left foot in this position, but still be in front of it like with a backhand shot. Now, let me show you the in-depth look of your blade at the angle and your wrist. So as you can see, I approach it with a flat look right here. My hand is reaching forwards, but if you remove it back, it looks like a backhand drive because it's, it's essentially the same thing, but it's a smaller version. So it's reaching out, trying to make a flat contact. Now, this is the beginner phase. Remember, the advanced version would be like this, the elbow goes up and blah, blah, blah. But in this case, you're going flat open. If you want, for your own benefits, put your wrist even more sideways. You know, like really, or put it down to, to use that wrist action when you follow through. But the angle is the same. You come in completely flat. You see the ball coming in, ball bounces, you then go forward with the arm, so the arm goes a little bit more straighter. You make contact, top part again, and you follow through with the wrist and an arm for the backhand finish, just like that. You come in, flat, maybe rack it down a little bit for the wrist action, make contact again, upper rubber part, and follow through with a bit of wrist, a bit of forearm for the backhand finish. There you go. Your touch of the brush is the most important part here because that is what's going to be creating the counter spin of the shot. So that's where you make the contact with. Oh, it fell over, but that's where you make the contact with. Okay. When you're rolling it, have a nice light touch. Don't put a heavy contact to it. Otherwise, the ball is going to go in and hit the net. So don't do that. Have the ball coming, touching here and rolling it down with a nice little wrist. Make sure it's light and easy brush, okay? If you're hitting the net or go over, use less wrist and just do a lot slower motion to it.
but with the contact, this is the beginner stage, flat. As you gain a little bit more in intermediate level, use your wrist to come in. See the way that wrist brings the racket a little bit more down? Use the wrist and follow through with the wrist because the next advanced stage will be when the racket's completely down like that. But to get to that stage, use that wrist to pinpoint the racket down. Come in nice and slow, don't rush the shot. Nice light touch and just roll the ball, a little bit of lifting with your arm and wrist to pinpoint where you want to finish. But if you ever struggle, use that little wrist action here and that will get you to more intermediate level and more easier to return these more side spinny and backspin shots. So in summary, read the channel, put your dominant leg under the table, come in with a flat approach to it, think light, think easy brushing. If you need, use your wrist to come down and use that wrist action with a follow through to drag over the ball. If you're a beginner and you're playing against beginners, you just need to come in with a flat look and just use your wrist, a bit of follow through. But trying to start progressing yourself by putting your wrist down a bit, more further away from your body, your elbow might raise a little bit, but that's okay, because that is the advanced technique that you need to learn to do as time comes. But for now, flat hit, and roll the ball. Nice, easy, light touch to be able to brush the ball in its correct position. So that's it, that's it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you saw the progression you can do from beginner, intermediate and advanced. Make sure you leave a comment below to any questions, any future tutorials, any ideas, leave them below. And yeah, good luck in training. Just play, have fun and enjoy the game.